The thing I like most about these Dodge Challengers is the lines. Of course you have the retro Mustang and the retro Camaro, and then you have these. And personally, it's just my personal taste, I've always liked the lines of the Challenger. Now these cars are based on the same platform as the Dodge Charger and the Chrysler 300. The underpinnings are all basically the same. But there's something about these Challengers. I mean, they are just gorgeous. They are truly a work of art, just like the Camaro and the Mustang. But I don't know, these things just look somehow more aggressive. I just always have liked them. And even back in the 70s with the Challengers of that era, there was something about those lines, man. The, uh, the, the automotive designers from Chrysler really nailed it. And they've done that again with this version of the car. Now this car is equipped with a 3.5 liter V6 engine. It's kind of a workhorse engine for Chrysler. Now I can tell you from personal experience, it's a tried and true performer. Uh, they pump out about 350 horsepower from a V6. You're gonna get about 30 miles to the gallon with this thing on the highway. And even around town with my own 3.5 liter V6, I'm getting, you know, in the, in the 20 mile per gallon range. That's in city driving. How do they do that? Better engine uh, design, heads that breathe better, aluminum in the blocks and the heads, making for lighter engines. And the result is more power, more torque, and better fuel economy. It's just a good all around package. This unit has only 40,000 K on it. So um, in the used car market, it's an exceptional value. Um, I think this one's priced at around 20000 so you can expect to pay somewhere in that range for uh, a used Challenger. And I gotta tell you, man, this one is clean. It's in good shape, and I, I personally would love to have one. I don't own a Challenger, I have a Charger, but I love these cars. So these feel like a fairly big car. They feel bigger than a Mustang, but to me it feels a little bit uh, more agile than the Camaro. The suspension on this one is set up so that it's comfortable, uh, still stiff enough to give you a performance feel, but it's not so harsh that it's gonna knock the teeth out of your skull when you go over a speed bump. This car is tight, it handles well. That's because of the, uh, the engineers at Chrysler. They've really kind of set up the suspension on these cars properly. It's, it's just a well-engineered car. Really underrated overall and even with the V6, you're getting tons of power. It's a great way to get yourself into a retro muscle car uh, with, without all the headaches of owning an actual vintage muscle car. Of the three pony cars, I'd say the Challengers uh, have the best lines, and I gotta tell you, I love these things done up in black.